Hi, I'm Courtney Ortega with the Star Telegram and welcome to another segment of Fab or Flub. Today we're going to be taking a look at an as seen on TV product called the Air Curler. Now, if you're like me and you have long, thick hair with a little wave or kink to it, chances are you probably use at least one hot tool to style your hair, either a flat iron or a curling iron. Now, that's all you know, good and dandy, but if you talk to any hairstylists, um, they probably will tell you that regular use of hot tools, either on a daily basis or even every other day, can be really damaging to your hair. Now, that's where the air curler comes in. Using what the brand calls Air Vortex technology, this funnel attaches to your blow dryer to give you beautiful curls, waves, without damaging your hair from heat. Now, first impressions telling you when I pulled this out the box, first thing I thought upon looking at it is, oh my God, this thing is huge. It's gonna attach to the end of my blow dryer. I'm like, you know. It is a three part um, product. It comes in three pieces. You do have to assemble them together. They were pretty easy to put together. You've got kind of this outer funnel spout. Um, you've got the inner little tube spout right there and then you've got the main funnel. Now, based on what the box says, the air curler should attach to any blow dryer, regardless of you know, what brand or you know, style it is. I specifically was using this Conair 1875, and normally it should just attach like that, no big deal. Now, if it doesn't attach, the product actually comes with this really nice, thick, uh, kind of just rubber band that goes on the end of the barrel of your blow dryer. Just gonna give it kind of a snug fit, make sure it kind of just you know, stays, adheres to the funnel like that. So, before you can even begin using this at all, there are several, several instructions that you need to be aware of and things you need to make sure you know, are in place before you can get started. Number one, the instructions say your hair must be clean. You know, we should all have clean hair anyways. Number two, it says that the roots should be dry and the ends of your hair should be damp. Now that's not where the instructions end either, so there's some more. Specifically for this product, it says that you must use a medium setting on your blow dryer. That's fine and great if your blow dryer has a medium setting. This one specifically, I purchased it, you know, just on a pinch real quick. 10 bucks at the Walgreens whenever my old blow dryer died. You know, since then I haven't replaced it because it's been working great. Only bad thing is it only has a high setting and a low setting. It does have the cool button, but there is no medium setting. You know, but whenever you don't have a medium setting, there's nothing you can do. So I did use the high setting. Now, once you've attached it like this, you're just gonna simply turn it on, the medium setting for 10 to 15 seconds, take a section of your hair, drop it in, at that time it's going to naturally curl it. After the 10 to 15 seconds are up, you hit the cool button, turn for 10 to 15 seconds. Again, it's supposed to lock in the shine, you know, um, keep your curls definition. Now, you're probably wondering, what did I think my opinion to you and my suggestion, my advice, and I hope you take it, is this is a big fat flub. Stay away from it. This product is not worth your time. This funnel is huge. And trying to use it, you know, imagine yourself as you're going hair by hair section. You know, I'm trying to strain to hit that cool button for 10 to 15 seconds and I'm trying to hold it out here. The most important part that I think I must point out is the actual curl. Does it curl your hair? It in no way gave me, you know, the defined curl wave that I get with my um, current curling iron that I use. Did not like the way it looked. It didn't give my hair any volume. It just didn't give it that definition, that texture that I want when I'm using a curling iron. If you're worried about, you know, damaging your hair with heat tools, hot tools, I suggest, you know, using things like, um, you know, a leave-in treatment, maybe a spray. Tresemme has a great one, you know, you can put in your hair, you know, when it's still damp right before you blow dry it, or you can even spritz it on right before you flat iron your hair. There's also lots of great leave-in conditioning masks that you can do, you know, once a week or once every two weeks. Those are really great, you know, from keeping your hair from getting damaged and restoring moisture, you know, back to your hair. I hope you enjoyed my review today. If you're interested in seeing the full written review, you can go online to our website, startelegram.com. If you're interested in seeing more of our Fab or Flub video reviews, you can check down below in the info box. We'll have a link to our Fab or Flub video playlist. Until next time, I'm Courtney Ortega with the Star Telegram. Hope you have a nice day.